Hey, I'm Paul with Madcap Software, and we are at the part in our video series on print output from Madcap Flare, where we're getting ready, uh, we're at least close to building some output. We just need to create a target and edit it. Now, whenever you want a different output, you need to create a target for it, a separate target. So if you have 75 PDFs, you'll have 75 targets because each one's going to have unique settings pointing to different things. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go in and we'll add a new target file, and then we'll go through the uh, tabs, the different sections of the target where the most important settings are. And we're going to set this up so that we're just ready to build the output. Let's come over here to the project organizer and under the targets folder, we've already got a, a target set up for HTML5 output using top navigation. That is our online output. Uh, I'm going to rename this to online, make it easy to keep them separate, just like I did for the TOC files down there. Okay, so, I am now going to create a new target. Right click on this for my PDF. Click Add Target. And let's call this one, because I might have lots of PDFs. And so let's call this Getting Started PDF. Just kind of matches what our TOC file says. And output type, I want PDF. And that's really all I need to do there. And it's going to open this uh, target file open, which has a gazillion tabs and settings in there. And uh, so there's a lot you can do, but you don't need to do nearly everything. We're going to highlight the most important things. Uh, also notice that these are set, this is set as a primary target, and that's set as primary TOC, what this does is it, the target one especially, it lets you use certain shortcuts. Like when you go to the project ribbon and you say build, well, what's it going to build? You could have lots of targets and you can see them all from here. But if you just click on the face of the button, it'll build the primary one. And it also help, it also affects when you uh, preview topics and topics uh, when the previews are associated with the target settings. So if you're you know, really heavy duty working on a particular target, you might want to uh, temporarily change it to primary so that you can quickly see the preview for it instead of having to click the drop down and select something. Now, one thing before we get into these different tabs is I just want to let you know this really is um, these things you set them up, and then for the most part, you forget them. You know, they're they're done. And so it's not like you need to go in here and do what I'm going to show you a lot. You do it, and then it's once in a blue moon you come in. Probably the thing that you need to change most often is, uh, for example, if you add new PDF down the road and conditions associated with it, well, you need to open up your targets and, and make sure the conditions are set correctly, including or excluding that new condition that you add. So anytime you add conditions, you need to make sure your targets are up to date. Um, so that's probably the main thing that you would need to do. But otherwise, these things are, yeah, you, you just kind of set them and leave them alone. All right, so I'm going to work through the different tabs, uh, things that you should pay attention to. First up is the general tab, and there's not a lot you need to do in here. The main thing is you need to make sure that it's pointing to the right TOC file. And so right now it's set to default and uh, we want to make sure that it is pointing to the getting started PDF. You might also need to go into your, let's see, the online one, because that is also going to be pointing to a TOC and you might want to just go down there and make sure that's pointed to online. All right, so pointing to the proper TOC file. And if you look through the rest of these things, well, you don't really need to set any, any of these others. 
the um, probably the other thing that you might want to set is the output file. So if you wanted uh, the PDF to be named something in particular, you could just click and type it in here. Otherwise, it's going to be based on what your target file name is. So it'll be getting dash started dash PDF dot PDF. And I'm good with that. So I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, moving down, we can skip skin because that's really for online output. Come down to conditional text. This is a very important tab. So we created our conditions and we applied them to things, but that doesn't mean a thing unless we come into the target and tell it what to do with them. By default, it includes things and you can tell uh, when it's not set that it's it's just going to do that. Now, we want the uh, print only to be included for the, our PDF. And now notice as soon as I selected that, everything else turned to exclude. Now I'm going to select the online only, and I can select that to exclude if I want to make it explicit, because this um, can switch depending on what settings you do in here. So if I click exclude, now these changed back to include. So it's in, this is an inclusive system. And so if you include just one thing, it's going to assume everything else out, everything else is excluded. If you include uh, and exclude something in there, the things that aren't set, it's going to assume that it's included. That's how it works. Uh, there's more to be said on conditions because it's, it's such a central, important thing in Flare. And I have another video where I talk all about conditions. If you want, go and check that video out too. Now, we did that for our Getting Started PDF, and we want to do the same in our online one because we added this condition. We certainly don't want to include print only. We want to exclude it, and we want to make sure we include our online only. And we save that and we're done. And again, as you add conditions throughout time, they're gonna you know, show up in here and they won't be set. You need to go in and, and maybe tell it specifically, do you wanna include it or exclude that condition for that uh, target? Okay, moving down, the next one is variables. We definitely wanna to come to this tab as well. Now, remember, these variables were actually set, the uh, definitions were set in our variable set. Uh, and so we added some in here. We added these PDF bullets for that title page and the PDF title. And we got the version number in here and different things. And what I had said at the time was, look, this is, this is uh, what is going to be the default. So if you've got something like PDF title, maybe you pick the PDF that is like the most important one to you or the first one that you do. And that's going to just show up in all of the targets. That's going to be the initial definition. In this case, it's getting started. And so you, if this is the one we're using, the getting started PDF, so we won't have to change that ever actually in here unless we decide to rename the PDF and these things are going to stay the same because they're associated with that same PDF. But uh, in a, a few videos from now, when we start adding additional targets, then we would override these. Now, the one thing that you might want to be changing in here is the version number. Uh, so you or you wouldn't necessarily change it in, in this target but uh, it's something that might change, whereas these other variables might just kind of stay the same, at least for a while. But the version, if you're creating version software and uh, you, know, you, you publish something and then a few months later you do version two, well, this one is our default setting. So I would change it here in the variable set. Uh, for other PDFs that are maybe on a different version, then you would override them here in the, uh, in the target. But really, uh, there isn't anything for us to change here. I just wanted to point out that this is an important tab uh, for targets, uh, for PDF targets included going forward. Publishing tab. We're not going to tackle that in this 
uh, video, if you want to automatically copy your output that you publish and paste it somewhere else, you can use this, but it's not necessarily something you have to do. Glossary, we're not including a glossary in this. Relationship tables, meta tags, we can skip all those. They're not important in this video. Uh, advanced. So this is one that you're definitely going to want to look at. Now, we um, already saw the generate TOC proxy and index proxy and glossary proxy earlier. We talked about those. So if you're using the automated thing, you would have those enabled. If uh, you create uh, manually a proxy, which we did for the TOC and index, it's going to use that instead, even if this is selected. The medium... So we did a lot of style settings in our print medium. Well, how does it know that the PDF is going to use that as opposed to, to the default settings? Because by default, all new print-based targets, PDF, Word, are going to use the print medium. I could switch back to the default and then it would use that, but there's no reason to do that. Uh, you should keep it selected on print here. You can also create new uh, other mediums if you want, as time goes by. I do. I have my uh, the main print medium, but I also have, so our different products have different color themes. And so I have uh, additional ones that'll be like, you know, print orange or something like that, print blue. And so it's not just enough to use the main print medium. I have these others. And so for those PDFs, I would switch to one of those mediums. But in this one, we're just going to use our base print medium. Uh, so some of these, I'm not going to go through all this in detail. Some of our, some of them are, you know, pretty self-explanatory. We're not using, you know, empty pages. Um, you can check these things out and see if it's important to you. If you want to select them, I am not going to be, you know, selecting most of these things, any, you know, hardly any of these things in here, but you can check it out. Uh, redacted text, if that's important to you, you can control that. The one setting I want to point out, and this is extremely important, I've referred to it earlier, is this. Use TOC depth for heading levels. I've talked about this before. When we were doing, um, when we were doing the mini TOC in that, uh, in, in our topics, said, well, it's going to be absolute, you know, what it puts in there, the headings down to the depth that you select, but you can select this and it will base things, uh, not just that, but other things, the, um, you know, the heading levels as they show up in your print output, it's going to base it on the TOC depth. And I'm going to illustrate this uh, soon when we get to building the output, show what the difference is between whether you select this or not. I love this option. It's, it looks like this innocent little option in here, but it does a lot. And so I prefer to have this on. You might decide to have it off. In this video, we're gonna keep it on and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what it does. But it is, I, I also pointed out earlier when I was showing you the topic text, heading two will become an, H, uh, an H3 in the output. Uh, heading three will become an H4. Um, or heading two will become an H3, H1, heading one will become an H2. And um, that has to do with this TOC depth and how things are structured in that outline TOC. Uh, if things are shifted inward, it's going to change, it's going to shift things around, which I think is a good thing. But if you don't like that, you can deselect it. Again, we'll talk about that soon. Right, moving down, build events, we're not worried about that. Language, not worried about that. PDF options, that's probably the next one that uh, you might be concerned about. So this has a variety of options that have to do with the PDF document. Uh, so image compression, a lot of these are meta tags. So I can put in uh, the title. Oh, getting started. And can put in, you know, the author, uh, I'll just put in my company and, uh, you know, various other things in here. You can also do copyright, um, whatever you want to be part of the properties of that PDF file. So this stuff is, you know, just choose the stuff that interests you in here. Um, you can go read about each one. They're not 
you know, the, the some are more important to people than others. Just kind of look through them, but we're not going to set most of these. I'm going to come down here to magnification. Uh, so I might want to control how big the document is when somebody first opens it. Maybe I don't want it to be at 100%. I want it to be 50%. And then, you know, what's the, um, do I want the bookmarks panel on the page? I'll leave that. The page layout, I kind of like this one, two up continuous um, cover page. Uh, it's just play with them and see how it looks in the output. The first, the way, the way that the PDF looks initially to the person when they open it up. And then collapsed bookmarks, I usually like to have that on. So, you know, I don't want uh, everything to be expanded. And yeah, so just go through and uh, look at these things and see if they're important to you. Maybe security is important to you. Maybe it isn't. Also, if you were to um, be working on word output, you would have a word options tab. So uh, different settings in here, some similar, but different. That's it. Those are, are the target settings. And now in the next video, we're going to build, we're going to review, and we're going to fix things. So it's a very, very important video because that's what happens in life. You build it, you look at it and you go, that's not what I expected. And then you got to troubleshoot and figure it out and go fix it and until you get it. And so that's what we're going to do in the next video.